Well, that's it then. I've finished off the crackers. What am I going to do with all these crumbs? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go feed my worms. Come with me and I'll show you how I feed them. And then we'll stay to the end and we'll see what the worms do when they get up to eat these cracker crumbs. So I'm outside with Gus and those baby European night crawlers that I added the other day. And I thought this would be the perfect place to test out those cracker crumbs. I did add some borage leaves to the top here, but I did not disturb the area where I put the babies. Let's just make sure there are no babies on the cardboard. I'll move it somewhere safe just in case. Okay, so the babies are still in this bedding that came from Anne. Anne told me something about European night crawlers, and that is that they love grit. And they don't love it for the grit necessarily, they love it for the calcium. So I'm going to be extra careful to give this bin a lot of grit. So now let's put in the cracker crumbs. Like worm chow, I'm just going to lightly sprinkle the cracker crumbs over the surface. Then I'm going to come back in a couple of days and we'll see if we can catch any babies feeding on the top. I am going to cover it so it's dark and kept moist. All right, well, it's been two days, so let's check in on these baby worms and see if we can see any up at the surface feeding on those cracker crumbs. As I said, I was I moistened the surface, this newspaper. So babies also love newspapers. So I'm going to be checking on here. I don't see any on that sheet of newspaper. Now they it is a double layer newspaper, so they could be crawled inside. I see a fungus gnat, but I don't see any worms. Let's check the other one that's a little bit closer to the action. Do I see babies on this one yet? They like going in the folds. No, nope. no baby worms. So let's check in on those cracker crumbs. I can see some of the bigger clumps. There were like little bits of crackers left over. I can still see the pulverized eggshells here. I'm not seeing any babies. Up at the top feeding. Oh, there's a worm in the baby area. Is that that bigger euro that we saw in the original shipment? These are such tiny babies. I don't want to disturb them too, too much. I was hoping. Oh, hello, big guy. You're not one of my euros yet. <laughs> You're one of the bin, bin mates. That's a big bin mate. Are you seeing any babies in there? I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. Obviously that big fellow is angry with me. Okay, here are some of the babies coming along. There's one of the baby Euros. So big they are. Now, like Anne said, there was plenty of food left in this area. Oh, and it looks like and even shipped me, sorry, I dropped it, some cocoons. I saw a cocoon. Oh, yeah, there's definitely young ones in this area. All right, so, okay, so I tried the cracker crumbs, and obviously that didn't tempt the babies up yet. Remember, babies don't move through the surface as easily as, as adults. Now, I've got these leaves happily rotting on, on the side. And there's maybe a euro there, but I don't want to, I don't want to highly disturb this area for the babies, but I do want to give them nutrition. So another way that I thought we could feed these babies is to take one of my containers of previously frozen food and you can see the juices as I tip it, as it's thawed now, those juices are going to be absolutely full of microbes because this is sat outside in the heat for a few days. So yucky, yucky food juices. 
another thing that will give the babies lots of microbes for their tiny mouths. So the cracker crumbs, the leaves, are, I'm going to, perhaps I'll just bury them and those big worms that are in the bin will get at those these leaves, no problems at all. There you go. And we will continue our baby watch and see whether we can see progress on getting the babies growing and feeding right in this center area. Remember, babies cannot move very far um, and they, they tend to stay in, in very close proximity where the food is. And uh, so I, I'm sure we will be able to see clusters of them once they actively start feeding. All right, everyone. Bye for now.